I think the uh, I think the entire team kind of wanted them undefeated in the top ten, just because you know we wanted to play them undefeated in the top ten. But uh, I think anytime A and M comes to town, whether it be whoever's record's bad or whoever's good, it's an exciting game for all of us. So I don't think it really matters. Yeah, you, you hear guys talk about it all the time in the locker room. So it's it's there, but you don't want to get you want to get too caught up in, in the history. You, you know, you know, it's still just a conference game. It's just another game on our schedule. But at the same time, it's, it's A and M, and we're excited about it. I remember Graham going up to uh, A&M and throwing it to Robert Johnson like one of the last plays of the game. That was probably my favorite when they scored over the white DB. I don't know his name. Peterson or something like that. He's from Lexington. I think regardless of whatever happens with A&M, uh, any, any, any Texas Tech schedule, I think this is one you circle just because it's Texas A&M. And uh, I feel like, you know, they're probably feeling the same way. Uh, I think this is a, you know, a big rival, rival, rival game. And, I think both teams are really excited to play. I hope we have a lot of people there. And uh, I don't know, I think it's going to be a fun game. I can't wait. Uh, you know, you know, growing up as a Tech fan, you know, you, you, always, you always had a, you know, a sour taste in your mouth for an A&M. And I'm guessing if you asked Ryan Tannehill, you probably feel the same way about Texas Tech. So, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're excited about playing them. And, you know, this is what you sign up for. This is why, you, you know, you sign your, lane, your name on the, you know, the dotted line to play for Texas Tech. This is one of those... Uh, things when you think about playing for tech, you think about playing A&M. So we're excited about it.